Oh, all right. Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered. Last time we left off, episode two, we learned that Rachel's father was actually seeing her mother, her biological mother, uh, who she did not know was even a thing. So, which was kind of a giveaway because her hair is not the same color as her mom's at all. It's blonde or like a like a brownish color, but it it is what it is. But let's go ahead and get back into it. Today I'm wearing a a black jacket. You probably can't see a whole lot going on. I ended up getting burnt real bad on my arms, so I'm trying to keep them more free. I was gonna wear a tank, but I changed my mind. But let's get back into this. Give me some ice cold lemonade. Oh, yeah, you can see it. My arms are crispy. Or crispy with damn arms are my other arm you can see in the background. Yeah, but I'm wearing my black jacket. So you probably can't see a whole lot. But I got a white tank on underneath. I was originally gonna wear. Uh oh. I wanna tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for Chloe stays? Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. Why is EA app? Hold on. Why is EA app trying to open? Sorry about that. Can be hard to look at. That was weird. Keep in mind, I didn't open an EA game at all, and it tried to open EA app for some fucking reason. But is this really something you're ready for? It's the final episode, so let's see if we can get it done. Or the final Chloe. main story episode. I'm right here. Good. I need you. They're bond, dude. It's so sucky what happens, like, in the main game. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Mm. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, Careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Mm. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father is the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. Mm. However much she loved you then, 
wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Oh, man. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. What's wrong? Her arms. Eventually, I saw her. For who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her, and I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done, but after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Mm. His little food bowl in the back. You see it? Yeah, sorry about that so glitch that in the beginning. Was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money every single month. It's our arrangement. But now... She yes. wants to see me? But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel... <sighs> I think I need to lie down. It's like a stay away agreement. I mean, Rachel kind of has the same eyes as Rose. I feel bad for Rose and all this. Because now that Rachel doesn't see her as like a mother figure. Maybe, I don't know.
Oh, damn. They all in a group message now? All right. There's Sarah. I like reading these. Like, I recommend y'all look at these. Uh, like, play the games yourselves and read these because you you read... Uh, the, like, you read from the point of view of Chloe. You you can... You get her opinion on all the characters as you read along. It's like with Max the same... Max was the same way where she had her own opinions about certain characters. It's just cool to see everybody's perspectives. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. That's true, but addictions, even people who have addictions, it could inflict you even as an adult too. Especially if somebody who you love very dearly and they're addicted to something and they choose that over you, it's... It's a difficult thing to deal with. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Damn dog hair. I want to talk to Rose. Cheer Rose up. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway door to the left of the fridge yes ma'am poor lady hey cool graphic Rachel was really getting rid of this Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. I think if you had the option to change outfit, that'd be good. Were you able to find the broom? Yeah, I got you. Um, here you go. Thank you. 
I'm really quite glad that you're here. I'm glad, too. You've had to cope with much worse, I know. I'm grateful Rachel has someone as strong as you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. I mean, I understand it. It was the mother of his child, and he did love her at one point. He just wanted her to heal and get past her addiction so they could be a family. But she chose not to. So he took it upon himself to find Rose. And he's been married to Rose ever since. So yeah, even seeing his old wife, those memories would resurge and he would still have the feelings that he had towards her and he would still love her, but he can't be with her. Because he also loves Rose and he loves uh, Rachel. He wouldn't put her through that. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. James does seem like he does care a lot. Let's go check on Rachel. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. It's a really touchy subject. This make you feel like doo doo. Make you feel like poo poo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'll try to finish this episode, then play some Siege. Or Fortnite to feel better. I want to do multiplayer game videos, but I don't know how well those would receive. And it's a lot longer getting content doing solo multiplayer games. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. This light needs more light. Like, like a shade or something. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. 
Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Back on the train, I said... I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard. I'm pretty sure that was an achievement. I don't know why I tried to open up my menu. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. It makes you sad Rachel's seeing this. surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. Rachel even knows how to make a Stinky lamp look cool. She has an entire emergency kit just in her room. You can take that flashlight. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Rejoice. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Yeah, even Chloe knows her potential. She knows she'll do it. she'll have something from tonight. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Mm. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. Ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Or girl. I was gonna say, I bet it would look cooler if you turned that light off. Hey. Check it out. It's... 
beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. She's still your mom. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You can tell the actress was actually really crying beforehand. It sounds like a girl who's like just finished crying and she's just sniffling now. I'm gonna get copyrighted, but I'm just, I'm just soothing. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here, for me. Maybe she wants something. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? It'd probably hurt more. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. I need to see the interview with the actress who played Rachel. Because she's really selling it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. 
I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Right. It's such a lovely game, dude. It's just such a nice game. It's good to see from the characters' points of views that you never really got to see. Like Rachel in Life is Strange, we just know that she passed. Not really what happened with her. I see you on Dark Souls, Michael. Oh, this shit again. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touché. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? This is wild. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... It's a spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Creepy. Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, 
Might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Hmm. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. True, Where though. Do you think you get it from? Sometimes there the lies are better than the truth. Dad. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. I just got like chills going up my spine. Shut the fuck up, Victoria. You fucking suck, Victoria. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Ugh, come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it i'm your favorite client remember I'll be in the junkyard in two hours <sighs> sweet thanks man you're a real <sighs> that went well i guess what am i getting myself into All right. Oh, you can't change clothes. Interesting. I might keep that off for now. Figures. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Rachel really is good at everything she does. Well, that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Mad respect, no one asked you, Trevor. Burn. Wow, Chloe, that was classy. 
Yeah, it is. It's actually pretty dope. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> Hang in there, Skip. Oh. So okay. Much has changed. I've got two hours to kill. I wonder if you'd even recognize me. Shower now. would be fucking amazing. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. I don't even remember a flower. Uh, better than nothing. That's not gonna do it, Chloe. All right. I figured I figured this is a good place to leave it. So with that, actually, inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Let's see. I'm going to look around the room a little bit. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. All right. With that, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.